Oh, we're going to give this a try. I looked up just before the tying goal. You guys are being outshot 21 to 7. What would you say the key to staying in this hockey game tonight has been? Well, you know, uh, the the Ducks are a little bit of a hard, more hard-nosed uh, hockey team than last night's opponent, the Kings, and uh, we're just playing the same. We're playing at the same level we played against the Kings, and you know, right now we are tied after two, but. Uh, uh, we're not going to win a game uh, playing the way we have been last uh, 40 minutes. So we got to elevate our game and uh, get a little tougher and play not to play at the end of our stakes, which we have been for quite a bit. Cut us a little slack. We could have done this interview after one when you scored the goal. Let's look at it together. You had an almost uh, apologetic smirk on your face as you went back to the bench. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, I I was not apolog apologizing for anything. I was just happy that I didn't have any more facial damage than Luckily, it was Mike Mato shooting the puck, so he can't hurt. He can't hurt a fly with that shot. So, it was all good. Uh, your coach Brent Sutter alluded to uh, the Devils having very few long road trips away from home, and he said uh, a lot of times this can be a morale builder. Do you see this as an opportunity for them? Uh, you know what? It's uh, that's that's the old-fashioned. Everybody, you say that every time the team has a long trip, it's a great morale builder. I think the morale ha it needs to. Uh, if we haven't built the morale up to this point, it's, it could be too late because we are halfway through the season. So it's more or less uh, the real test if we can show up every night to, to play the same way on the road. It's uh, nothing else. Morale, I, I hope we have a good enough morale to be competitive for the rest of the season. We'll have to wait for this trip to, to build it up. Bobby, thank you very much. Thank you. 2-2 hockey game here in